Hey YouTubers, Pat Strikes Back here again, and uh, I just wanted to go into a few more things and let you know that I really fucked up on my tutorial about ripping the Crash of the Titans models. Uh, I assumed that uh, ripping them from PS2 would be exactly the same as doing it from the Wii, but uh, me being a dumbass, I just assumed that, and I was totally wrong, and it is actually a different process. For doing it, with uh, a PS2 copy, you're only going to need Dragon Unpacker and the P3D Editor. Uh, don't even bother with Game Extractor, it won't even open the RCF for the PS2 version. So we're going to just go straight into Dragon Unpacker. We're going to go File, Open, and we are going to find... Where did I stick that? Right here, here's the RCF. For the PS2 version, it's actually like 553 megabytes. So disregard everything I said in the other version. That one's just going to be for the Wii. This is the PS2 version. So here we are. It opened up. If you tried this with the Wii version, it won't open in Dragon Unpacker. And if you try the PS2 version in Game Extractor, that won't open. So um, what I'm just going to do is take all of this. Just going to highlight default.rcf, right-click, extract all, straight to my desktop. And we're just going to say, cut PS2. Stick it in that folder right there. Hit OK. Let it go. It'll take a few seconds here. It's going to dump everything. And I'm not sure, but I think the file locations and names are completely different than the Wii version. So all the P3D names I gave you are probably completely different. So you're going to have to do your own poking around. But uh, I did do a quick check to find one that did work so I could prove it to you. But uh, before we open up the P3D editor, we're going to go into Hyper Ripper real quick here. And we're going to grab our RCF. Oh, oops. Oopsie. Close it out of here. Now go into Hyper Ripper. And uh, how I said you want to search for DDS files. Well, for the PS2 version, you're going to want to search for PNG. So yeah, my other method was completely jacked up, and I apologize if you were following along and were like, what the hell's going on here? But as you can see, this time the textures are oriented the right direction. You don't have to worry about any flipping, so fuck all that shit. You know what, I'm just going to grab all these and extract with a conversion desktop text for texture so put it right there just so we can see them all easier this is going to take a little while eh, it's almost done I'm just trying to make this quick you know I already wasted enough of your time with the last one uh, here you go perfect there's Aku Aku right there we're going to copy him paste him on the desktop there's our texture. Now we're going to pop into the P3D editor here. Um, we're going to go into our folder here that we just made. And uh, under cinematics is where we're going to look for this. And the file is called C1B269A9. We're just going to type that in here. C1B269A9. There it is. It's about... Uh, 790 kilobytes so we're just gonna drag it into the p3d editor scroll down to uka uka shape skin primitive group one export that we're just gonna call this uka one grab the second primitive group export uka two now we're gonna hop over to 3ds max all right so now we're gonna want to go import uka one that obj close uka2.obj uh, close that hit all right uh, center this up a bit there we go and I'm gonna grab the diffuse texture grab the texture we just got slap that on there and there you go that's how you do it for the ps2 now uh, one thing you, I forgot to mention with uh, some models out of crash of the titans like Aku Aku and Uka Uka and uh, a few others have uh, one-way polygons. As you can see, you can see the ropes that the bones are hanging from on this side. But if you look over here, there's nothing. Even if you render it, you see straight through. And uh, to fix that is just uh, 
a matter of the material settings. Um, in 3ds Max, I know at least all you have to do is click uh, two-sided, make sure that's checked, and then then it'll work fine. So there you go. Sorry for the inconvenience, but uh, uh, that's how you do it for the PS2. All right, take it easy.